Alright, hi guys. Today I'm going to show you how to make a a basic Lego Power Functions remote with a steering wheel. Yeah, and I'm also going to show you how to make this red thingy, which is a little support thingy, which I made when I found that it was a bit this was a bit hard to use without it because my hands are a little small and this so I made this a bit bigger so it was a bit easier to you know hold and so and I'm also going to show you how to build it with that and I'm going to show you how to build it without it as well okay so okay and these are the parts you're going to need so you're obviously going to need a uh, a basic remote, I'm going to put that to the side and you're going to need a little pulley wheel well you don't have to use it, you can use a gear or a steering wheel or anything that has a Technic uh, a little hole that can fit a Technic axle through it the cross one, anything like that because it's going to be your steering wheel you're also going to need one of these, it's the rubbery one because when I first tried to build it off a video I thought it was the solid one so I just put two of the solid two stud long half beams together and I found that, oh it doesn't work and then I really have to say it was one of these uh, rubbery ones so that's a tip it needs to be the rubbery ones because the solid ones don't work ok I'll put that aside and you're going to need one of these Lego Technic lift, uh, lift arms or beams or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call them beams in this video just so that you know. And the, this one here is a cross hole, none of the other ones are regular pin holes. And you're also going to need three of these Lego Technic um, bushes. If you don't have three of them, then you could use a, a half a half bush thing. I think it's called the half bush. Uh, or you could use what uh, the eight tooth gear. The other gears don't work because they're too big. Next, you're going to need uh, two of these little the uh, two Technic pins. The three studs long. Uh, yeah, you're gonna need two of them. It doesn't matter which color, uh, which color, probably black or blue best because they're the friction ones. Yeah, I didn't have any friction ones, so I had to use the non-friction ones. They work just as well. The friction ones are better, so use the friction ones if you have them. As well as that, you're gonna need one of these pieces. I don't know what they're called, but you're going to need one of them. Uh, yeah, so you need one of these. You're also going to need through these, the Lego Technic pins, but one side is an actual pin and the other side is the uh, actual thingy. So you're going to need three of those. And you're going to need a uh, five stud long axle. As well as the um, the connector axle. I, can't, I don't know how many studs long it is, but it's a uh, connector one. Use one of these. It doesn't matter if it's red or black. And onto the last two pieces, you're going to need a regular tech pin. And lastly, you're going to need one of these connector thingies. It's not got the cross hole, it's got one of the um, pin holes. Alright, so let's get started. First, you're going to need uh, uh, two of the three stud long pins, one regular techno pin, the, um, the black beam, uh, the, the techno pin with the ax one axle side, and the, uh, this little mystery piece. I call it the mystery piece. And you're going to need the... Right. Yeah, so step one. So you're going to take your remote, you take the mystery piece, and then you put it on the top holes. 
on on the right hand side. And then you're gonna take the beam and your pins and then you put the you put the three stud long piece in the bottom hole. Not that one but the one next to it. And then you put your you take your other three long pin and put it above that. And then you take your regular pin and put it above that on the left hand side. And then you take your last pin and put it in the cross hole on the same side as the regular pin. And then you put it on the bottom holes. Right, step two, pretty simple. You're going to need uh, uh, another pin with the axle side. Then you're going to need one of these. You put you put them together, and then you put them on the left lever. Look. You don't have to do that, I just did that myself. Next, you're going to have to take your rubbery piece, the connector axle, and another one of those pins with the axle side. And then you're going to put the connector piece in the right lever on your remote. Then you put the rubbery piece on top of that, so it's facing right. And then you put this piece in the other hole of the rubbery piece on the um, axle side. So that you can see the pin side. Alright, next you're going to want to take your wheel, as I said you can use a gear or whatever you like, and your five stud long axle, and two of these bushes. So you're going to push the gear of the wheel on the, just, just like this, on the top of the axle, and then you push your bushes on... Uh, below it, then you put it through the bottom hole of the mystery piece so that the left hole on the wheel well, I see, yeah, you can't use whatever you like, I just realised yeah, so you gotta put this so that the left hole is on the uh, pin last step you can do, uh, you just need one more bush you turn it you turn your remote upside down and then you just put this on the end. Right, next. If you want to make this, you got I'm I'm gonna tell you how to now. Right, so these are the pieces you're gonna want to make uh you're gonna need to make the other bit. So you need two of these. They're um one two three four one. They're eight by four plates. Doesn't matter what colour really. You need two of them, and you need four beams with studs. That's what I call them, but they're actually bricks with holes. That's what Lego group calls them, but I call them beams with holes. Uh yeah. So you're gonna need four of them. To again, just not matter what colour. Uh, but they need to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight studs and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes. So seven pin holes. Yeah, you're gonna need four of them, and you're gonna need six pins. You friction ones are better, but um. Uh, the other ones, the non-frictional ones, not as good, but I didn't, again, I didn't have all the frictional ones, so didn't have enough, so I just used uh, the non-frictional ones. Uh, you don't have to use these, the three-quarter pins, you don't have to use them, but they're just to attach the, the smooth plate. It doesn't come with the right thing. Uh, I just wrote that on there myself, you, again, you don't have to use this. Right, so first you're going to take your beams and the, the pins. 
Right, so you take your uh, just a second. Okay, so you take your so you take your bits and then you take one beam and you take two two of these. Yeah, two bins, and then you put them in not the top one, but the one below, and then not the bottom one, but the one above. And then you put another one ugh, next to it, like that. Then you put, and then you take two more, uh, and then you put them on the top and bottom ones. And again, you put another one next to it. And then you take two more and you put them on the third one down and the third one up. And then you put the next one next to it. Then you, if you want to put the flat piece on, you're going to take these and then you put the one on the top, one on the bottom. If you want to make it a bit stronger, just put one in the middle. Or and if even if you want, you can put them on all the available spaces, and then you just put it on whichever way you want. <sighs> Next, you're gonna want to take your plates. I just used red because it matched. I I made it for my supercar model, so I decided to use red. And then you put one plate on top. One plate on the bottom. It makes it a bit stronger. <sighs> and then, if you want to decorate it with the little grill parts, I use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I put one on the top left. So it's it was like a zigzag. So. And at the end, it ends up like a like someone drawing a squeezy line. Yeah. So at the end, you have like like that. Then you're gonna take your remotes, and then you can pop this on the end. Yeah. And ugh. yeah. You. Huh? Wait, sorry, got something wrong. You just sorry. Just take your plates off the top and bottom, and then take the first one, the first one on the left off, and you move the bottom pin uh, to the middle hole. Yeah, move it to the middle hole. Right, and now you can put your plates back on. Sure about the weight. And now you should be able to put them. Yeah, there you go. And and you know I told you that you didn't have to do this. Well, if you don't want to, well. I, I, I don't know how you can do it, how you can remove those bits there, well I, I can't think of a piece that you can do it without it, but if you want to take those bits off, because you, you don't want to do this, well you can just you take this part off and then take these parts out and then you just put regular pins in and then you can pop it back on, right? Now, as soon as I figured out how to um, make make that less rigid, take the pins off, I'll let you know. Please review and subscribe and rate as soon as possible, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!